Oh. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. <laughs> Alright, just jumping right into it. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. Go humans, I guess. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later... Dot, dot. <laughs> Mount Ebbet, 20-something teen. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Ah, uh, isn't this music wonderful? Oh no! We're <laughs> tripping and falling. <laughs> oh man, here comes a legendary screenshot from this game. Fucking face plant onto the floor. <laughs> Wow, look how pretty. What a wonderful visual. Are you kidding me? Hey guys, Celtic Jolting back into action, and welcome to Undertale. Oh my god, this game has a su such a special place in my heart, man. I've seen multiple YouTubers play this game, but never have I actually played it myself. So today, I decided that I'd play it myself for the first time in front of you guys. So, when HP is at zero, you lose. Thank you. Uh, what do we want to name ourselves? Do we want to just stick to Jolt? Uh, I do want to kind of take this game a little seriously, and if you guys aren't familiar with Undertale, um, it was all over YouTube in like 20... Ah, God, was it 2016? 2017? Maybe it was 2018. But, um, it was all over YouTube for a long period of time, and... Uh, Jack Septicai, I think, was one of the founders of this game. He kind of, like, made it into something popular and gave the characters unique voices and stuff like that. So that's what I plan on doing today. Um, hopefully you guys find it cringy, uh, as cringy as you do, find it entertaining. Um, we're just gonna go with Jolt. So if you guys have never seen this game, you're in for a treat. And I'm not gonna spoil anything, because I know how most of the story goes, but... Oh... <laughs> if you didn't know, this game has multiple endings, so you can win the game however you want to. And personally, I have a way that I want to win the game um, that I've never seen anyone else try before. So I decided I'd play it for the first time today. Uh, let's get into it. Oh my god, dude. The pure silence is just so atmospheric. Oh, hello there. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the Flower! <laughs> Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't ya? <laughs> I love how it says, aren't ya? Like, that's how normal people talk. Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Please do. I need an introduction. I guess little old me will have to do. Alright. Ready? Here we go. Oh, so it's, he's gonna show us how to fight. See that heart? It is your soul. The very cur culmination of your being. Yep, I see that. It's very, very strange to control. Uh, your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of level, or LV. What does LV stand for? Why love, of course! Well, you silly goose, what else would it stand for? Level? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You want some love, don't you? We all want some love every now and then, I mean, come on. Don't worry, I'll share sh some with you. How generous of you, little flower. Down here, love is shared through... Little... White... Friendliness pellets. Okay, that's a little sus, but... <laughs> Did you see his face? He was like... Yeah, friendliness pellets. <laughs> Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Okay. <laughs> you idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh, fuck! Die! <laughs> Whoa, dude. Fucking intense already right off the bat. Oh. <laughs> yes, dude! Oh my god, it's Toriel! What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. 
Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. So I heard that Toriel is supposed to be a play on tutorial, and that's where her name comes from, which is very clever, Toby Fox. I see what you did there. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Well, thank you, Toriel. Can I trust you as much as I can trust the flower? This way. Ah, oh, man, the music, dude. Can we just take a second and appreciate it? Um, by the way, I know it's gonna happen, okay? I, I would like to just say that I'd seen, like, roughly three or four playthroughs of this game. But, like I said, nobody has ever played it like I plan on playing it, so... The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Thank God, because I had one health. Uh, oh, oh, those are stairs. Okay, that was so confusing to me. I was like, what just fucking happened there? Like, how did I just go up the wall? Uh, welcome to your n new home, innocent one. Oh, sorry, the voice. Allow me to educate you in operation of the ruins. Okay, simple enough. You go in a square motion. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them for, uh, to move from room to room. I'm sorry, I, I swear I've got some sort of, a sort of dyslexia. Please adjust your sight to, please adjust your sight to the self of them. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Uh, okay, so do I have to, no, okay. What does this sign say? Okay, I would like to read the sign, please. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave, brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Wow, okay. That was very, uh, beautiful. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several, si several switches. Do not worry, I I've labeled the ones that you need to flip. Okay. That kind of defeats the purpose of a puzzle, doesn't it? What does this say? Stay on the path. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, is it this one, Toriel? It's like the only switch here. <laughs> what does it even do? Oh, it's the spikes. Okay. <laughs> what would have happened if I pressed the other one? Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Uh, this switch doesn't even work. <laughs> cool. I don't guess she could have just let me find that out myself. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. Whenever you encounter a monster, you will need to enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. <laughs> yeah, so that's part of this game. Um, you can choose to either fight or you can choose to act. Um, obviously, we don't want to fight anything that doesn't deserve to be fought. So, let's just go ahead and talk to the dummy for now. Uh, I know a lot of you guys know what the endings are to this game, so don't spoil it in the comments down below for in case any of my viewers are new to Undertale. Um, I would love their first experience with Undertale be through my channel. Ah, very good. You are very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there is another puzzle in this room. I guess I'm pretty charismatic. I wonder if you can solve it. You wonder if I can solve it. Okay. Uh, in this room? Is it just behind one of these? Uh, I'm confused. Oh, no, it's up ahead. She was just waiting for me. Okay. <laughs> Froggit attacks you. Okay. <laughs> hey, Froggit. I, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt you, buddy. How about we compliment you? Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> Cute! <laughs> Toriel, Toriel gave him a stank look. Alright, let's go Toriel. Sorry that guy was that guy was just interrupting us. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Oh yeah, you're gonna show me through? Yeah, there's no way I could have guessed this myself. Okay, hold on. One, da, ba, ba, uh, oh, okay. Alright. 
I just, I, I'm trying to remember that in case I need to know it for later. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently this thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. <gasps> oh no! Whatever will we do? Forgive me for this. Oh, okay, so the music's just gonna kick up there. Is this really as intense as it's making it out to be? Because I got a, a strong feeling that it's not. Boom, boo, doo, boo, 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 boo. Man, how long is this fucking hallway, dude? I can only make so much small talk. Dude, it's still fucking going. Is there a run button or something? Surely. Or is it never ending? Oh, why is my menu? That's good to know. <laughs> is she hiding behind a pillar? Yeah, duh. <laughs> Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. However, there is an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It is dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Yeah, I, you gave me a cell phone. How does a fucking cell phone work in the underground? Can I... Call her? Uh, yeah, let's call her mom. She seems like a mom. Dialing. Hello, this is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose... Would that make you happy? To call me... Mother? <laughs> well then, call me whatever you like. Okay. Um... Are you gonna come back? You know, I never really tested it. Everybody I've watched has always been like, Yeah, I'm just gonna walk ahead and not listen to her. Uh, about myself. I guess I could tell her a little bit about myself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. You know, I'm, I'm vibing to this music, but, uh... When is my mom coming back? <laughs> say hello! This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then. Hello! <laughs> I hope that suffices, hehe. <laughs> That's cute. That's fucking cute! Alright, so is anything gonna happen, or am I just gonna stand here? <sighs> yeah, you know what? I've ran out of patience. Uh, we're gonna go exploring. Oh. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Nah, no, we're still in the room. and I mean, it's just right there, right? It's no big deal. There are a few puzzles I, ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them by yourself. Be good, all right? Click. Okay, I'll be good. Hello there. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice about battling... Uh, uh, advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a, if a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. <laughs> okay, I'll use some mercy. Sure. I'm not gonna hurt anybody who don't deserve it. That's all I'm gonna say. Take a piece of candy? Yes! You took a piece of candy. Press Y to open the menu. Okay. Uh, monster candy. Dope. What if I take another piece? Take one. Take a candy. You took more candy. How disgusting. <laughs> what? How disgusting. You're gonna shame me? Take one. Take a candy. Yes. You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. What the fuck? It's just candy, man. Come on. Take a candy? Yeah, sure. You took too much too fa fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Oh. Look what you've done. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Fuck you, game. I just wanted some candy. Hey, I got three ca- Joke's on you, game. I have four candies now. Since I decided to, uh... Purposely neglect you. 
Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Cool. Ruins. Leaf pile. <laughs> I like that that's a save point at the leaf pile. Alright, so let's get moving. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, I, th I thought I'd mess something up there for a second. Man, I haven't watched this game in a while, so you'll have to forgive me if I do a few things that are a little messed up. Sorry if I've been out of focus. Oh, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I have a feeling this is uh, a reason in particular. Um, I don't know, I really don't like either. I, I don't like cinnamon or butterscotch. I know. Uh, hot take. I think I'd prefer cinnamon, though. If used in the right circumstance. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Can I get back to work, Toriel? Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Uh, probably, but I'm not going to tell you that. Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Uh, yeah, about that. I kind of left the room. <laughs> uh, what does this say? Three out of four great rocks recommend you push them. Wow! <laughs> is this one out of the... Uh, four? Did it say one out of four or one out of three? Whimsum approaches meekly. Okay. Are you okay? What is, oh, I can go ahead and spare them right now if I wanted to. I, I'm going to console them to see if they're okay. Halfway through your first word, Whimsum burst into tears and runs away. Aw. Aw. What? <laughs> what kind of fucking battle is that? That was lame as shit. I guess this is just the tutorial area after all. Oh, I remember this puzzle. Let's see if I can remember it off the top of my head. Oh, what the fuck? I was almost there. A pair of froggets hop towards you. Oh, no, we don't want to fight. Oh, God, I was about to fight him for a second. Um, let's compliment one of them. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. <laughs> oh, man, what are these things you guys are throwing at me? Are those flies? Froggit doesn't s seem to know why it's here. <laughs> me too, buddy. Oh, fuck! Flies, flies everywhere. They follow me now. You're intimidated by the Froggit's raw strength. <laughs> yeah, am I? Uh, let's compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Am I complimenting his raw strength? Of that, he apparently has quite a bit of. Spare him. Yay, we did it. We got four gold. Uh, okay, so what was... Fuck. <laughs> okay, yeah, so here's the puzzle. I remembered it all the way up until this point. You gotta follow the maths... Uh, the paths up ahead that, yeah, anyway, this time we'll probably say it. Please don't step on the leaves. Yeah, so. Yeah, you can kind of infer what's going on through that. Oh my god, we're getting so many fights, dude. Uh, I know, I know, I could just spare it, but I want to console it. Maybe it's the same whimsome. Nope, it just burst into tears and ran away. Great, good to know. <laughs> Fuck! That was purely on accident. That was because I was using the analog stick. You can never use the analog stick when playing uh, RPGs like this. D-pad gang for life. Oh, or for fuck's sake, dude. Oh, Froggit and Whimsome. Okay, let's compliment Froggit and then we can spare both of them. Uh, Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was blah blah blah. Whimsome says, forgive me. You know you don't have to attack me, right? Oh. God. Uh, okay. Spare. Yep, there we go. Oh, only two gold? I got four gold for beating uh, two froggets before. Oh, here's the other three rocks. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. <laughs> uh, actually, Rock, could you move over just a little bit more, please? Hmm, you want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? You're being real difficult with me, partner. I'm gonna have to ask you to comply. Hmm, that was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, there you go. See, that wasn't that hard. Alright, let's get out of here. Rock, are you trying to kill me? Hmm, 
you wanted me to stay there, you're giving me a real workout. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> it wouldn't have been a workout if you wanted to stay there in this first place. Mold small blocks the way. Oh, God. Uh, let's flirt with the mold small. Get a little jiggy with it. You wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Burble burb. <laughs> that is very meaningful. Man, are you even trying to hit me, mold small? Mold small burbles quietly. Okay, well, I'll let you go then. Gave mold small a little self confidence there. I figured he deserved it. Knowing the mice might one day leave its. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Okay. That's weirdly specific, but... <laughs> this cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Yeah, I'd imagine. <laughs> what a bad thing to have determination in. Uh, hello? Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud. Oh god, I thought he was fucking snoring. Out loud repeatedly to pr pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes, it's in my way. Oh, here comes Naps to look, guys. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's cheer. You gave Naps to look a patient smile. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Oh, God. It's okay, dude. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, my God. Dude, you have acid eyes. That's the book. Looks uh, just a little bit better. Hey, you know, sometimes you got to take it one day at a time. Uh, let's go ahead and cheer him on again. You told Naps to look a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. <laughs> this is me. This is my character. Uh, cheering seemed to have improved Napstablook's mood again. Well, that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and cheer again. Napstablook wants to show you something. Let me try. Wow. Very talented. I call it Dapperblook. Do you like it? Yeah, of course. Uh, let me cheer. Oh, gee. <laughs> I usually come to the ruins because there's no one around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Aw, <laughs> naps to look. Thank you for moving, buddy. What's over here? Oh yeah, spider bank sale! Spider bank sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Uh, how much gold do I have? Seven gold? Leave seven gold in the web? Wow, yeah, sure. It's only all my money. Uh, some spiders called down and gave you a donut. Thank you. It's very nice of them spiders. What's this guy have to say? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down. Uh, spider bake sale down into the right. Come and eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. I don't know about the of spiders part, but everything else sounds pretty cool. Ribbit ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing B, like that. That's right, pressing B. Oh, not you too. Aw, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was just a mechanic showing me how to play the game. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard borders. Ah. Uh, I heard borders can add some color to the world. It seems you can choose them in the settings menu before you load your game. However, there is no frog thing border, so it's just pointless. Ribbit. <laughs> borders? Aw, oh, man. I should have checked that out before I started. I usually always check the options. Ribbit, ribbit! I heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now uh, a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Uh, very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Hmm. Good to know. Thank you. That's very insightful. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might s see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Yeah, so she's basically just telling me I have inventory space, which is under so... 
Hello there. Looks. I guess I won't pick on you. Finally, someone gets it. Uh, okay. Ow. Oh, fucking God. What the fuck are that? those, dude? Looks is staring right through you. Yeah, I, I gotta go, buddy. I got somewhere to be. <laughs> you know. God, that was really creepy. Uh, okay, what's this? There's just one switch. Okay. In the midst of all six of these little holes. Is that what they mean? Vegetoid came out of the earth. Oh, wow. You're an unpleasant sight <laughs> to see. Uh, let's go ahead and dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy, healthy meal. Eat your greens. Uh, okay. Stop freaking me out. Maybe I will. Oh, that healed me. Awesome. It smells like steamed carrots and vegetables. Or, and peas. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Vegetoid. I got somewhere to be, dude. Kind of creeped me out a little bit, in all honesty. Is this another Vegetoid? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Vegetoid came out of the earth. Uh, no, we don't want to fight it. Uh, yeah, dinner. Oh, no, I didn't try to eat him. Oh, my God. But it wasn't weakened enough. Part of a complete breakfast. Oh, oh, God. I'm sorry for trying to eat you, Vegetoid. Oh, man. Vegetoid cackles softly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I imagine he sounds. Yeah, give me some dinner, Vegetoid. Eat your greens. Alright. Oh, I missed it. Oh, fuck, I missed it again. Alright, alright. We just gotta do it one more time. As soon as we eat dinner, he'll spare us. So that's all we need to do. Oh, fucking fuck, dude. Well, I got it anyway. <laughs> I took some damage, but it's fine. We got gold from it, so can't be the worst thing in the world. We know where the uh, key is now, too, so we can go straight for that. Although, I do kind of want to check out the other rooms. Napstablook is in the bottom center. Let's go check out Napstablook. Oh, okay. Or fight another Luke's. I know how to deal with you, buddy. I just won't pick on you. Finally, someone gets it. Man, your attacks really aren't all that bad. Maybe it's because I didn't pick on him. Maybe if I did pick on him, he'd be really difficult. Uh, hello, Napstablook. There's nothing else in the other room, so that's good to know. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh, well. <laughs> he just, he didn't even fly either. He just teleported away. Okay, well, that is going to have to do it for this ep episode of Undertale. We are going to keep these episodes at about half an hour because I thoroughly enjoy these games and expect a lot of episodes of these coming out uh, frequently because I really enjoy this game. I want to play it all the way through. It's my first time playing it by myself, so I'm really excited for it. But if you guys enjoy Undertale, leave a like down below and comment if you have any other game suggestions. And before we end the video, I would just like to give a, a huge thanks to Motion Star. Uh, who was one of our top donors during the Thankmas charity event. So, everybody, go follow Motion Star on all of your social media platforms. I will have his Instagram also linked in the description down below. So, go check him out. But for now, that's going to have to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!